Hello guys. In our today's lesson, we have picked a particular subtopic in physics and we are going to handle a question under electromagnetic induction. Specifically, we will look at the transformer. So I've picked a question. Okay. And that question reads, the figure below represents a transformer with a primary coil of 400 tens and a secondary coil of 200 tens. So those are the data that we have in this particular um, question. Okay, so we have the 200 tens and we have also the 400 tens there. Then the question continues to say, the primary coil is connected to a 240 volts okay a 240 volts ac mains calculate the secondary voltage so what we are trying to calculate here is the voltage in the secondary coil okay and the big question is saying explain carefully how the transformer works so we'll handle these questions in parts First of all, we are going to calculate the current, I mean the voltage in the secondary core. So if you look at the data that we are given, here in the primary core, we have 400, 400T, which is tens. Okay, so we have 400 tens in the primary core. And then in the secondary core, we have 200 tens. At the same time, we have been given the 240 volts where in the primary core. They're saying if the primary core is connected to a 240 volts. So it's very important that you check the data that you are given. So now we are going to use the formula for uh, the formula for that ratio that we have the ratio for voltage so voltage in the secondary divided by voltage in the primary equal to now looking at the data that we are given we have the voltage in the secondary we don't have and that's the voltage we are trying to calculate okay then we have the number of tens so we are going to use this particular ratio to calculate the unknown part on this ratio okay so this is the formula we're going to use all right so let's uh, quickly dive in into our tutorial so if you are new to this channel may you make sure to subscribe and uh, if you already did you can just press a thumbs up on this video if you like it and if it helps you okay so correcting our data we have remember on the question we have the number of tens in the secondary that is 200 tens and then we have the number of tens in the primary which is 200 and at the same time we have the voltage in the secondary do we have no so not no wonder we have put the question mark there then we have the voltage in the primary core which is 240 volts okay so now we can dive in into the formula that I'd given you earlier. So voltage in the secondary divided by voltage in the primary, then voltage in the secondary, I mean number of tens in the secondary divided by number of tens in the primary. Okay. So that is our part there. So let us begin to substitute. So if we substitute, we are going to have something like this. So we have the voltage in the primary which is 240 and we have a 240 here we have the number of tens in the secondary which is 200 and this is a 200 on top the number of tens in the primary we have 400 and this is the 400 on the bottom there so from here because we have two fractions and we have an equal sign so we have a privilege of introducing what the cross multiplication there okay so we are going to cross multiply like so so here we multiply in diagonals 
so this is multiplied to the to the 400 and the 200 is multiplied to the 240 we are multiplying in diagonals when we introduce a multiplication on the equal sign okay so vs multiplied by 400 we have 400 volts then multiplying 240 with 200 we have 48000 okay so from here we just want to remain with this variable here the vs the voltage in the secondary so what we'll do from here is to divide by the coefficient of this variable the coefficient of this letter meaning the number in front here so we'll divide by what a 400 on both sides of the equal sign so we are going to divide by a 400 here and also by a 400 there so this 400 and this 400 they will cancel there okay so those are going to cancel and 400 in 2 48,000 we are going to have 120 volts so this is now the voltage in the secondary so here we now don't have a question mark we have a value which is 240 volts okay so it means the first question we have answered we have found and this is two marks just solving this okay then the second question was asking us to find um, the second question is saying explain carefully how the transformer works and it's a four marks question guys so we're going to talk about how the transformer works and remember it's a four mark question okay so the first statement you are going to talk about you are going to explain to say uh, you can see my model of um, right here you can see my model of uh, 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 a transformer there okay so let me just get my laser pointer so this side here the first statement you are going to talk about where this primary coil is connected to so your first statement will say the primary coil is connected to the ac current ac is alternating current okay so alternate current the primary coil is connected to the alternate current then the secondary coil is connected to the loads okay and then when i talk about the loads i simply mean the electrical appliances we can talk about it is connected to industries to your home and stuff so that is your first point there on how a transformer works now when that ac has been supplied now I'm, the ac has been supplied on the primary core what will happen is there will be magnetic field that will be produced now here okay there will be magnetic field that will be produced okay now because you have supplied the primary core with the the alternate current the alternate current changes directions every now and then so this will cause the magnetic field that has been produced inside here to also start doing what changing its direction frequently why because there is a change in the magnetic flask okay so that is what is happening okay so there will be a change also in the direction of a magnetic field that is the second point the third point now because of a change in the magnetic field or magnetic field uh, uh, field lines there is a change in their direction what will happen is the same electromotive force that is in the primary will be induced where in the secondary core it will be produced in the secondary core okay it will be produced here of the same frequency as you can see on our statement here of written to say an induced electromotive force of the same frequency is produced where in the secondary core and that is how a transformer works okay so you can explain about those three points 
and it is going to score you four marks and you are done like that okay now let us go on the uh, third question they were saying why why is why is a what why is a soft iron core used instead of a steel material okay so why is a soft iron core used instead of steel a simple answer here we can look at their differences in a transformer there we want a material that can produce temporal magnet okay when there's a cut in the power you expect your material to give out the magnet the magnetism now if you use a steel bar a steel bar it is hard of course to magnetize but when it gets the ability when it gets the magnetism it doesn't give out easy so when there's a power cut it will still keep the magnetism and that is not a property we want in the transformer so you can explain to say we use a soft iron core why because it is easy to magnetize okay and also easy to mag uh, to demagnetize hence it produces a temporal magnet needed in the transformer just like that you end there now to finish up the question the last part is saying if a current in the primary core is 3 amps calculate the current in the secondary coil of a transformer assuming the transformer is 100% efficient okay so only when the transformer is 100% efficient it means it doesn't lose uh, uh, current in form of heat okay so in this case all the current no loss of energy there everything is consumed okay so for us to calculate we are going to use uh, this ratio okay so vs over vp okay then equal to uh, ns so number of turns in the secondary over number of turns in the primary okay so you have to know this formula by heart okay the number i mean the current in the primary over the current in the secondary so this is the ratio that we are going to be using okay we have ratios for voltage and we have a ratio for number of turns and the ratio for number i mean the current in the primary to secondary those are the ratios there so we are going to use this formula to calculate now with the use of this formula you can only use two ratios at a time so if i pick to use the number of turns with the current i can calculate because i have the number of turns here in the primary both in the primary and the secondary okay if i choose to use the voltage i have a voltage i have a voltage in the secondary the one we just calculated in the first question here we're calculating the voltage in the secondary okay and i have a voltage in the in the primary which is 240 volts so i can even use the formula i mean the ratio for voltage with it, the current i can use this too okay they can also work so it's up to you to pick now in this case okay you have an option okay so let's go straight into calculating okay so correcting our data the current in the secondary of course we are not given that's the one we are trying to calculate then the current in the primary we've been given which is three amps then um, voltage in the secondary the one we calculated which is 120 volts then the voltage in the primary we have which is 240 volts at the same time we have the number of turns in the secondary 200 the number of turns in the primary we have which is 400 turns okay so that formula I'd given you earlier you've seen it so you can choose to get um, this the last ones you can use this you still find the same answer but for me i've used uh, i'm going to use the voltage uh, the ratios for voltage and then that of current also 
So mine, I'll use that. But if you want, you can try out with the number of turns with the current. You are still going to find the same answer we'll find. Okay. So here, voltage in the secondary we have, which is 120, and we'll substitute there. The voltage in the primary, 240, and we'll substitute with the 240. Current in the primary we have, which is 3 amps, and we'll substitute. Then the current in the secondary, that's the one we are calculating, so we'll still put back the IS. So it will look like this. Now, in this case, since we have fractions, and we have an equal sign, so we'll now introduce cross multiplication. Good. So we'll have a cross multiplication here. Now, to multiply here, we will multiply in diagonals. Because we have introduced a multiplication on the equal sign, we'll multiply in diagonal. So the 120 with the current in the secondary, then the 3 with the 240, I mean with the 240 volts there. Okay. So we are going to have current times two, 120, we have 120 uh, IS. Then 3 multiplying it with 240, we are having 720 there. Okay. Now, since we just want the current, we are also going to divide again, if you remember. So this is just a variable. Okay. So we want the number in front of this variable to go. Okay. To be equal to 1, in other words. So we we'll divide by 120 on both sides of the equal sign. So divided by 120. Even on this side also, dividing it by 120. Okay. So in the end, we are going to have... So this side here, the 120, and the, they are going to cancel. Okay, so we'll have something like that. Then we'll remain with current in the secondary equal to... So the 120 into 720, we are getting a 6 as the final answer. So this is the answer. And this is the current in the secondary coil. When you reach here, it means you are done. That is another two marks. Just imagine how simple they are. So you don't want to let go such questions. Okay. Thank you for watching up to the end of this video. If it helped you and you've not yet subscribed to this channel, there are more videos coming under physics, uh, mathematics, ADMA, and A-level mathematics also, including physics, pure. Okay, so you may consider subscribing so that you don't miss out when you post a video. And if you want to help out your friend, you may share this video to your friends so that it can help them, and make sure they also subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.